It has been a tough 10 years for the school district. With enrollment seeing a steady decline in the past, that has translated into fewer dollars from the government. But this year, things are starting to look up in terms of students in seats and teachers at the front of the class. Enrollment numbers are out for School District 57, and things are looking busier in Prince George classrooms. When the uh, numbers go up, um, it, it uh, is, is something that we're quite, quite pleased about, just given the, 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 the trend over the last decade. That trend has been a downward one. The district has seen anywhere from 500 to 200 fewer students depending on the year, but this time the district only lost 89. We expected that we would uh, have in the neighborhood of a, a drop of 120 uh, students. Our um, current enrollment um, as of the 31st of September is 12,920. More students also translates into more teachers. Well, 200 contract changes, that could be uh, retirements from last year. Uh, I think we had approximately 46 retirements. Um, it could mean we had uh, people move uh, from the district. So it could be a matter of many different things, but it does show growth in our, our school district. Right now in the school district, there are 12,920 full-time equivalent positions. We're always uh, thinking that having teachers in front of kids is the greatest thing that we can have. So uh, more support for our students is what our, our goal is. And it's all about money. It's all about funding. That funding hinges on the number of students in seats. The district says it looks like enrollment is starting to balance out, which could mean more cash from the government. The dollars we receive are, are closely tied, um, with a few exceptions, closely tied to the students we have. So the more students that you have, of course, the more costs you have, but the more dollars that uh, are injected into the systems. Most of the gains appear to be in elementary schools, but more final totals will be available later this fall. Kelly Linehan, CKPG News.